Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how I get trees and vegetation in my artwork like this right here, or like this one. Here's some examples of what I'm gonna show you here. So when I started out in 3D, this is one of the things that just totally confused me. I had no idea how people got like realistic vegetation and trees and like nature in 3D because it's so hard to make this stuff from scratch. There's so many intricate little details, all the leaves and branches and stuff. I didn't know how to do this at all. Um, and what I realized is it turns out the easiest way is you just don't make it. You just buy models that somebody else made. Um, so that I think that's what is the best option 99% of the time, unless for some reason you really need or really love creating trees and nature from scratch. Uh, but what I'll show you is how to just find and use models. I'll give you some really cheap or free options in this video. But basically, um, if you just download high quality trees, the, the easiest, fastest thing is just do that and then you can just drag and drop them into your scene as you need to. And you don't have to worry about creating all the leaves and branches and stuff that you don't really, that most people don't really care about, um, you know, creating from scratch because they just want a tree in there. They don't care about like designing the leaf from scratch. You know what I mean? So this is what I do. I just download trees um, and then just drop them in. And now this is still the technique I use in like big client projects, like for the for the Illenium album cover. Like uh, this, I use this exact technique here. I'll show you the add-on I use. Okay, so let's talk about what this is. This add-on is called Botanic. Again, I'm probably butchering the name, but uh, however you say that. Basically what this is, is a massive asset library built into Blender with a bunch of trees and you just pick the one you want. So like this one, hit okay. And then it just imports it automatically, fully textured and everything. These are very, very optimized too. So it's, um, they're pretty low poly and they're not gonna like destroy your computer when you try and render it. So very, very handy to have this, but uh, it's a bit more pricey. I think the full version that I bought here is like 125 bucks or something. Um, I'm not affiliated with these guys or any of the stuff I'll talk about here, just so you know. Um, but if you go to their website, yeah, it's 125 bucks for the full one. There is a free option you can get with um, a very limited amount of trees, but if you only need like one or two, maybe that's a good option. So I'll just link it below. Uh, you can just go to their website and see what the best option is for you. Again, I'm not like affiliated with any of these in any way, so this is just what I use. So these are, uh, these are the, my, my favorite trees to use because they're so light. Uh, they don't have too many polygons. They're very, very optimized with this collection system they have. And it's just really easy to just duplicate this a, a thousand times. I've seen people, like I've seen Sweeper do a test where he rendered 1 million, like actually 1 million of these types of trees from Botanic on a plane and it was still running fine. So very optimized, nice to have these. Um, but if you don't want to spend 125 bucks and get this, uh, this add on here, there is another option or there's a few other options, but one of the cheapest ones and also very good quality ones that I found is these guys right here or this page, uh, which is the uh, Munich office on ArtStation, this page right here. If you just go to, I'll link this below as well. Again, not affiliated, but whoever this is has um, just a bunch of really cheap, but high quality trees and plants and stuff to download. So if you just click on any one of these, you'll see, uh, let's see how much this is. I think it's like probably one or $2 or something. Yeah, 2.89 for two trees. So not bad. I've seen some of them for like a dollar 50 or something. So one or two bucks for a tree is um, pretty good. That's pretty much as close to free as you're gonna get. But this stuff is very, very high quality. It's not quite as optimized as Botanic where it's like, you can render a million of them and be fine. These are a bit heavier. It's gonna be a bit slower to render these um, and you can't add quite as many, but they do look really nice. And so this, like these trees here are from this this page right here. Uh, so you can see, you can get, it's, it's nicer for like really stylized um, branches and like these fantasy kind of trees. I really like it for that. Whereas Botanic is just better for general background forest stuff. Um, any, more generic trees where it doesn't need to be like as intricate and nice looking. It's just gonna be like more uh, optimized and more just easy to use. Botanic is much better, but for for this kind of stuff, these work really well. So I'd recommend just going here, checking it out, uh, just go and look in. What I did is I just picked out like 
uh, like four or five of these that looked nice, put them into like the cart and then just bought them all at once and then spent like, I don't know, half an hour or something just setting it up, putting it into the asset browser. So you can see here, I just put them, I, like when you, when you buy it, you just go into the blend file, you get, uh, I forget, there was some weird thing where I had to like add um, a UV map or remove a UV map or remove a vertex group or something. I can't remember exactly, but it, it works pretty well once you figure out um, there's like some, you might have to like join it together. I think it, I think that was the problem. It came in like two separate message, two separate meshes and I added like the wrong thing to the browser. But I think that was just my bad. It shouldn't be too hard to set it up. And then once it's in there, you just save it to the asset library and then you can just drag and drop it in anytime like this. So you can see uh, these ones are a little bit slower. If I drop this in, it's going to lag a little bit, but it's okay. Um, and then what you do once you have this in here is you just, instead of pressing Shift D, don't press Shift D, just press Alt D. So it creates a linked duplicate. That'll just speed things up a little bit, especially when you duplicate this a bunch of times. And yeah, you can just put this around as many times as you need. It's a little bit heavier, like you can see with uh, these ones, I can just spam this around all day and it's going to be fine. Whereas with these, uh, these Munich office ones are a little heavier. So anyways, those are um, the two best options in my opinion that I've found. There is one last option, which is if you don't want to spend any money and you just want to get some quick, easy tree for the background of your scene or something, you can use the sapling tree gen add-on. Um, but the results you get with that are going to be very limited compared to this. So the way you do that is you just go to edit preferences, go to add-ons, type in sapling tree gen, this one, and then you could just use that add-on to like create a tree yourself. Um, you, it's, it's not that good. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to use and it's very limited results, but you can get some okay stuff. I'll show you one thing where I actually did use this. So here's one where I actually did use uh, the sapling tree gen add-on just to test it out and you can see it's fine for like background stuff like this where you don't really need to see all the details um, so you can get stuff like that uh, but you've got to you got to set it up yourself which is the downside so wouldn't really recommend it but uh, it's there if you want it basically how I use these is just like I showed you, you just drag and drop it in place it wherever you want where it looks good throw on some volumetrics and lighting and there you go like I said, it doesn't really make sense to create this most of the time because like, let's be honest, nobody really wants to spend a ton of time like creating leaves and branches in the, in the, if you're somebody who's like creating a bigger picture of like a forest or uh, a scene with like just nice trees in the back. Maybe, maybe you do. I don't know. If you do, then don't listen to this. Go and make it yourself. But for most people, like most people don't want to, you know, design something like that already exists in nature from scratch and probably do a worse job and spend a ton of time on something that somebody else has already done. So in my opinion, uh, it makes a lot more sense to just buy these. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, go and watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.